How's it going? Just a quick video this week to update you on where's wayno has gone um, and what I was up to last week as well as the um, news and information that's come my way. So as uh, always, if you wouldn't mind, like, comment, subscribe and of course, if you want to catch me going live, make sure you hit that bell. Um, this week I'll be uh, getting on with season two or four guys on the 15th, that is October's uh, Ghost of Toshima. Um, they've got a big update, new trophies as well as uh, co-op mode, multiplayer, tons of new skins. So I'll be checking that out along with a couple of other games. So like, as always, hit that bell and then that way you'll know when I'm going live. I try to share it around places. I'm, I'm building, I'm building. Uh, for the channel itself, Instagram is going to be the focus. I also want to try and get some uh, stuff flowing as far as uh, the process of video editing and some other bits also going with the channel. Um, want to do my first unboxing as well. I'll crack on with that this week. Um, so look forward to that. I haven't decided what game it's going to be. It might be old, it might be new. I'm not sure. Um, but yeah. I would definitely try and give that a go as well. So uh, hang around for that. Um, so where was I last week? Well, Xbox started a competition from the 1st of October to the 19th. All to do with the Xbox Ones of a lifetime. So from the 22nd of November 2013, all the way around to the 1st, uh, or oh, sorry, the 19th of October, um, you got a chance, if you're a heavy gamer on achievements and gamer score, of winning yourself a Series X. That's right, just for doing what you do best, playing your games and earning your achievements. Well, I basically jumped off the boat of achievements quite early on in the system, so I didn't stand much hope of getting that. Next up, they gave you three other opportunities, which was Forza, State of Decay, and Sea of Thieves. Unfortunately, I failed at this one as well because I don't really play any of those games. Thankfully, they gave me an opportunity in earning the most achievements and the most gamer score for the uh, time of the 1st of October to the 19th. So obviously it's still ongoing. After nine strong days, I got 70,000 gamer score, which pretty impressive. Uh, I'm still going to keep going, but there are obviously and quite apparently a lot of people with a lot more time on their hands that have managed to get a lot more gamer score ahead of me. So um, I was tracking that via True Achievements. They made their own leaderboards to help obviously so you weren't going completely blind in this goal um good news though i will leave a link in the description below because there is a chance that you could win a 12 month game pass ultimate um code for up to 10 different people so it could be me it could be you um, that could also win this. So even if you have no interest in this competition whatsoever and you say bugger it it's too far in i ain't getting anywhere i won't bother still enter because if you have an xbox you could get yourself a game pass ultimate for a year and who doesn't love free games and then that'll work on the x cloud the uh, bit of news on that front they persisted and persisted and persisted they found a workaround so sometime next year uh the game pass for the x cloud will be on ios uh, apparently they've worked something around with the browser so you can still get on it i'm not sure how that works but apparently it won't be an app on the app store but it will be a way of getting hold of it so uh look forward to that apple users um but yeah pc as well as the xbox so the game pass obviously all the xbox one exclusive titles definitely worth checking it out and who doesn't love free so um i'll leave a link definitely click on that register yourself you never know you might win um so today's video um just updating you on this week's news as i mentioned full guy season two kickstarted yesterday it's got a medieval theme to it so you can catch me playing that quite a bit this month i will be live streaming it to unlock new costumes for my little character you can be a troll you can be a dragon you can be a princess so there is a lot of costumes to go with that uh for the 15th there is ghost of tashima is getting a new trophies a uh, co-op mode and some multiplayer to added to it so i will We'll be checking that out so i'll be live streaming it while i'm doing it so definitely check that out why i also check it out um in other related news um there has been quite a few re uh, release games this week and last week star wars squadrons came out crash bandicoot 4 it's about time and uh fifa 21 also came out so if everyone is all up and are excited about those games let me know down in the comments what you're playing what system you're playing it on and what you're most looking forward to so uh big news on the gaming front yesterday was mortal kombat 11 is getting an ultimate edition a bit like 
like the Mortal Kombat 10 got an XL that included all the characters. Well, this is what the Ultimate Edition is for number 11. They announced three new characters to go along with that, and that is Mylene, Rain, and Rambo. That's right, Rambo. So in that collection, you can now have Rambo vs. Robocop or Rambo vs. Terminator. It is 80s, 90s, nostalgic, throwback, freaking amazing. Yeah, and the grit and gore and violence is just off the charts so along with this they announced a game exclusive collector's edition now if you've got the collector's edition to do with number 11 when it originally launched you'll have yourself a beautiful scorpion head a steel book and a removable um mortal kombat logo unfortunately i didn't get one uh it cost too much money at the time so once again this time round, you can get yourself a sub zero um that also comes with a steel book that comes with a blue metal uh, Mortal Kombat logo that you can detach or reattach. It's a magnet. It, you stick it where you want to stick it. Um, so I'm sure them two will look phenomenal side by side, but the cost of 230 does seem a bit steep. That is coming to you on November 17th, but with this announcement, they also announced that it will be going forward with the PS4 version going on to PS5, and through the Xbox Smart Delivery, it will be going up with the Xbox Series X as well. So good news all around, because it means that you can keep uh, shouting get over here um, on on the new system so uh i'm excited to see some of the fatalities that are going to be coming from it and uh, just genuinely that's what i watch it for um so i i picked it up i will give it a go i'll see where i stand but most of the time i just get my backside kicked uh in the most fatal of ways so in other news uh on to the walking dead now i mentioned that there was two spin-offs coming from that last week or the week before um well season 10 uh kicked off on the 8th with its final episode or what we believed was the final episode but no in 2021 there is six more episodes to season 10 and then they kick start in season 11 which will be its last and that's got another 23 episodes so it gives it a good opportunity to tie off a beautiful ending to the show um i'll be disappointed if they muck this up if that is not enough for you fear of the walking dead is back on the 12th that's right we finally can find out what happens to morgan after the end of season five and i've been waiting a long time to find out um beyond this they also announced worlds beyond um which is set 10 years after the disaster of the zombie apocalypse and it's all about kids growing up within the apocalypse so they know how to survive hopefully there's no whiny characters that are in a bit of disbelief that uh, zombies are actually around them um like there was in a couple of the previous seasons with some characters where i was just like really you don't know you're in a zombie apocalypse not even a slightest hint uh, i think some of these characters would have been better off in shawn of the dead um so yes with that being said um that show is going to be an amazon prime video exclusive so you'll have to sign up over there to get that watching um i know that in the canadian and i believe the states the first episode is already aired so you can expect it coming over here pretty soon i'm assuming for a full leading up to christmas break and then back in again with the spring so um that is basically all of that. Supernatural also came back on the 8th for its last seven episodes of season 15. If you haven't seen the show, I strongly recommend you jump on it. It would be a great time to binge through the 15 seasons because it will finish just as you catch up. Because uh, each season has around 20, 23 episodes. So there is some epic storytelling going on in there. Um, definitely check that out. Um, in other news, the New York Comic Con Pops have finally launched today. So if you've been waiting like I have for quite a while, uh, this time, thankfully, not for too many. There was only one that I was really after, which was the My Hero Academia, uh, Mr. Compression. Um, he was live to book, uh, pop in a box and... Um, that has now gone live and i've managed to pre-order myself one there in future conventions i'm hoping to be able to have pictures up also to links and things like that so um most of them unfortunately are sold out otherwise i would put links below for you guys to check out hopefully i can upload a video at the end of this video and show you guys what is there to be had if you're a pop collector um in the side of anime there isn't much to report this week um violet evergarden went live last week for the special deluxe edition on all the anime you can get that for 40 quid if you enjoyed it on netflix i absolutely loved it uh it did te uh, tear a hole in my heart and then sewn it back in uh it was a beautiful show so i definitely will be grabbing that and then this week gundam i don't know what the name of the one is has now gone live on an early bird special as well so overall a quiet week 
for anime, but uh, there has been quite a bit of news in the past week. So all in all, that's that. Uh, as far as collector's editions and bits like that go for DVDs, Lord of the Rings is getting its 4K set along with The Hobbit. You can pre-order those on Zavi and they come in a beautiful steelbook for each of the trilogies, but they will set you back at quite a steep price. I believe they're £140 uh, pound when they're off sale, but at the moment you can pick them up for £99.99 um, Why they're on offer. Uh, I will leave a link in the description if you guys are fans. Um, but yeah, if there are any other shows that uh, you guys love and can't wait to return or just ones that are finished and you can't believe the ending, uh, let me know down in the comments and I will catch up with you next week. But uh, as I said, keep an eye out because I will be playing a lot on the PlayStation, um, hopefully showing you guys off some uh, epic uh, skills being played in Full Guys. And uh, next week, I believe, will be my final week of leveling up on Rayman. So you might catch me doing a uh, little run and a mess around on that just to uh, celebrate my victory in finally finishing that for the third game. And please, Ubisoft, bring me another one. Please bring me another one. I love the Rayman Legends games. I finished it on the 360. I finished it on the Xbox One. And now I'm finishing it on the PS4. So uh, definitely uh, hoping that they announce another one for the new generation. Um, one last bit of news just before I log off is that they confirmed today that PS4 save games will be moving forward to the PS5 as well as the backwards compatibility games. So your backlog will be following you. All right, guys. Um, but yeah, if anything else comes up, I'll do you a video. Um, but yeah, I'll catch up with you guys next week.